Okay, everybody, super science, and today we're just making something awesome, oblique. And all you're going to need is one cup of water and one cup of cornstarch. And you've probably heard of oblique before, and a lot of people say you should use two cups of water and two cups of cornstarch, but I'm, I'm going to be making a smaller amount, so I'm just using one cup and one cup. So, here we go. And the top is going to look a little bit like milk, super milky, but um, that's how it's supposed to look. And then you just mix in the cornstarch, and sometimes It's hard to mix. You have to just slowly let your just just drag your spoon. Don't don't try to pull because I promise you that won't work. It just you have to let it melt off your spoon. You can't just go try pulling it because oblique is a non-Newtonian fluid, which means when force is applied, it just turns to a solid. When you let it be, it turns to a liquid. When I put it in this water, it still acts as a non-Newtonian non fluid, which is weird. But, um, okay, so, there's still some cornstarch left that needs to be, actually, we're done. And now, here comes the really, not hard, but kind of difficult part. Just spoon out all the extra water. You don't want to pour it because then it will just like get rid of some of the oobleck and you want to get as much oobleck as you can because this stuff is pretty fun. And it's super cool. This is like, this part is just a slow, okay, I'm just going to pour it and take my risk, take the risk. Hope I don't pour any of it. The rest is going to be hard to spoon out because it's right on the surface of the oblique. Good. And sometimes when you pour it out, people will just say, Oh, wow, there's a lot of water. Well... Sometimes, since it's a non-Newtonian non fluid, it's hard to see what is water and what's oobleck. And a good way to test is just 
just spoon it, push down, and see the rest that's on my spoon? That's water. Okay, so get Okay, I just poured some oobleck in there. Yeah, that's not good. Um, but this right here is pure oobleck. And let me show you something cool. If you just try to stick your spoon in, it's going to be like hard to push in. But then if you try to lift up really fast, your spoon's going to kind of get stuck. And if you try to like spoon it out, it's going to be super hard. Okay, this is a very good tip to know. When you're trying to spoon it out or putting it in something, just let the spoon do all the work. All you're going to be doing is guiding it. It's going to slide right on and slowly apply some leverage. Bring it up. There you go. Spoonful of oobleck without the big hassle. And now, so here is some oobleck. You're, so it's a liquid right now. See, I could pour it. Well, I'm trying to pour it. Yeah, see, it's pouring. But if I go like this, and just toss it back and forth in each hand, it's a solid. Look. Solid. Look, I could hold it. But you can't hold it for too long without applying pressure. Well, it's, it, this will happen. I'm not even squeezing. Just literally melt it in my finger. But then if I go like this, try to rip it off my thumb, and the really weird part, which makes me think it's like extraterrestrial, is you try to squish it as hard as you can, it just turns to powder. But from the powder, you could even turn it into a liquid. Powder, and now liquid. So, oobleck is super cool. And look, I almost have the same amount of water I started with. This stuff is awesome. Awesome, I tell you, awesome. You could even play catch with it. And as soon as you it hits your hand, it's going to go and turn into a complete solid. But when it's flying in the air, it's going to be super liquidy. But it's also going to be a little bit solid because the air like, is pushing up against the sides of it. And if you hit it with a hammer, nothing. Your hammer just bounces right back. And this stuff is so cool. Look, I'm juggling, like, I'm playing with it right now. And you don't want to drop it. Because then, if you don't get there in time, it'll turn super liquidy. But, um, this stuff, 
It's super cool. Bye guys, please like and subscribe. That was my Ooblick tutorial. Get ready for more awesome things to do with Quartz Starch.